As agriculture has become a larger and larger industry in America, it has become harder and harder to find American workers willing to do the most basic farm tasks. Picking, pruning, cutting, and handling farm produce are all simple but delicate tasks. Work that requires such attention to detail remains a challenge for farm technologists and as of yet cannot be automated. As the American workforce grows increasingly sophisticated, it is even harder to find the hand labor to do these grueling tasks. Which is why the United States Government Department of Labor is excited to announce a new program to get the job done. It's known as the Cybracero Program. In the earlier half of the 20th century, the U.S. solved its farm labor problems through a program known as the Bracero Program. Bracero, in Spanish, means a man who works with his arms and hands. Under the Bracero Program, Mexican workers who were not involved in their own country's economy would be invited to participate in the American economy as farm hands. Government buses and trains transported braceros from the Mexican border to American farmlands. Unfortunately, while solving America's farm labor problems, the bracero program contributed to several other problems. Some Mexican workers would run away from their jobs and stay illegally in the United States. Others would cross the border illegally and then blend in with the bracero workforce. No matter how they arrived here, the presence of braceros contributed to a climate of racial and economic suspicion. Evidence of major tension was not hard to find. You stink! You smell! They are lousy bunch of commies! But soon, such concerns will no longer be an issue. Under the Cybracero program, American farm labor will be accomplished on American soil, but no Mexican workers will need to leave Mexico. Only the labor of Mexicans will cross the border. Mexican workers will no longer have to. Sound impossible? Using high-speed internet connections directly to Mexico, American farms and Mexican laborers will be directly connected. These workers will then be able to remotely control robotic farm workers, known as Cybraceros, from their village in Mexico. These robotic workers are specially designed by the U.S. Department of Labor to be optimized for farm tasks. Using a series of simple commands, a Mexican worker can, from Mexico, watch their live internet feed, decide what fruit is ripe, what branch needs pruning, and what bush needs watering. To the worker, it's as simple as point and click to pick. For the American farmer, it's all the labor without the worker. We think this program will satisfy all the demands of the American farmer, worker, grocer, and average citizen alike. In Spanish, Cybracero means a worker who operates a computer with his arms and hands. But in American lingo, Cybracero means a worker who poses no threat of becoming a citizen. And that means quality products at low financial and social cost to you, the American consumer.